This is definitely my favorite travel power bank. And I'll explain why in a second. And I know I should start with the hook, hook you in, and then explain whether it's good or not at the end of the video. But I don't really give a shit. This is a really good product. It saved my skin a number of times. I do travel a lot, I take people around the world kite surfing, and I just need reliable power sources. Typically we go to places where I can't hook myself in straight away and I need to charge my phones, my cameras, my drones and everything. So I go through a number of power banks per year. Now, with a lot of them, what you'll find on Amazon is that they don't really have the advertised capacity. You can look up number of YouTube videos, stripping them down and sometimes finding that a 25K power bank, as a matter of fact, only holds like 12K power. With the Ankla, this is actually a 24, which is good news if you're traveling by plane, it falls below the 27k, which is the limit. The only problem is like, if it's 27, this is 24, why couldn't they make this 26 and a half? I mean, two and a half thousand would make a slight difference in the amount of devices you can charge from it. And that brings me to another point. It is pretty powerful. I wasn't really expecting to get anywhere nearly the advertised specs, but I do get a full charge of a MacBook Pro with 30% or 35% charge still left in the brick. It allows me to charge multiple devices in the same time. And one of the most crucial bits for me is that it has a pass-through charging, which means I can charge the brick and devices connected to it simultaneously and just leave it overnight, charge all my equipment, and then have the brick ready for the whole day to go. If you travel, you know that having a good source of power is essential. If unexpected shit happens like this, so it force me off this tiny little road. <sighs> These gloves are so handy. I never thought I'm gonna use them that way, but... We're getting there. Let's carry on. You'd be surprised what you can solve with a couple of zip ties and spare screws you've got lying in the van. It's alive. That's all that matters. I often go away locally to work from my van. I'm blessed with beautiful countryside, literally half an hour drive from my home. And I normally use my van batteries, but my leisure batteries packed in the other night when we went camping. Our diesel heater broke. <laughs> so this battery pack actually comes in handy more often than I would normally think it would. When you're chilling with a healthy Red Bull, doing your work in the middle of nowhere. Oh. That was my broken shoulder, just getting kicking. I'm, I'm so outdoorsy, this is, this is just, yeah. Well done, me. The display on this thing seems like a gimmick, but it is actually pretty handy. You know when you've got those four dots? I never know what one dot means. Is it 20% left or 25 or is it 3%? This is way more precise and it kinda, it's kinda accurate. You do get to that 5% which is dodgy and sometimes it just dies on you, but that's just the nature of batteries. But in general, this is, this is pretty handy. It gives you the current voltage you're charging devices at. I'm not 100% sure how accurate this is. And also, I've never managed to get anywhere near the stats they're providing on the website. I tried tons of different cables, both my MacBook Pro, my iPhones, cameras, my drones. You always get this sensible over 30 watts on devices that allow that charge to happen, but I never got anywhere near the advertised charging speeds. I know they're saying you can charge the new MacBook Pro 16 inch um, at 160 watts. I'm not 100% sure if this is actually capable of doing that but it's certainly fast enough to charge most of the devices on the go and get your iPhones up to speed within half an hour. One tip for the MacBook Pro users is try to connect your MacBook to the brick when the battery is still okay on a MacBook. It means it's gonna last together longer than discharging your laptop and then charging it up again. I don't know if there's any science behind it, but it feels like I get way more work time that way rather than waiting for the laptop to discharge. Size-wise, this is not horrible. I thought this is gonna be much bigger when I go the first time. Uh, it kind of works. It is a brick. Like, you have to admit, it's a chunky monkey. But all bigger battery packs are like that. Since we're here anyway, I might just go for a quick, quick cruise. A beautiful little road. Hopefully no one's gonna run me over. I mean, I had two accidents today already. Well, accidents. What are the chances, eh? Oh, let's do it. So make sure you don't get run over when you're riding them. What a spectacular day. It's Scotland, it's February, and I'm in a t-shirt. Makes sense. 
that was a great day. Regardless, <laughs> crashing van maybe wasn't ideal, but you know, shit happens, right? Look at this place, man. Holy shit. Man, I love where I live. Well, that was a little bit of a chaotic day, but I really hope that this review helped you. This is a really good product. To be fair, we're on 22 cycles right now. It holds the same charge as it used to when it was brand new. And I'm kind of hoping this will survive a number of years with me. So yeah, if you have any questions, drop them below. I will get back to you. But otherwise, have a great day. Take care.